Hi YouTube Fanatics, welcome to Toon Corner, and today I'll be talking about an animation studio called Terry Tunes. Terry Tunes was founded in 1929 by Paul Terry after he left the Van Buren studio. In the majority of the 1930s, the star at Terry Tunes was Farmer Alfalfa, and also during that time, they made a forgot to tune name Kiko the Kangaroo, who appeared in a couple of cartoons and also received uh, merchandise for a short while. The animation done at Terry Tunes during the majority of the 30s was a little stiff. Basically like the cartoons from the silent age of animation. And Terry Tunes didn't switch to color until the late 30s. Paul Terry basically doesn't like to take risks. And uh, basically to him, as long as a cartoon shows up on time, then, then that's good. That's good for him. From the late 30s to the mid 40s, Terry Toons began to get a good cast of characters like Gandy Goose, Sourpuss, Heckle and Jekyll, Dinky Duck, and uh, Mighty Mouse. In 1955, Paul Terry retired and sold Terry Tunes to CBS. From 1955 to 1968, Terry Tunes have made Toon Stars like Deputy Dog and shows like The Mighty Heroes. Even though the Terry Toons Studio closed down in 1968, the Terry Toons legacy continued to live on. In the 70s, Filmation made an animated series for Mighty Mouse. And in 1987, Ralph Bakshi, one of the animators from Terry Toons, made an animated series called Mighty Mouse The New Adventures. And it also featured characters like Candy Goose and Sourpuss in, in an episode or two. And the question of the day is... Who is your favorite Terry Toons character? Just let me know in the comment section down below. Feel free to leave any requests. And I'll see you next time in Toon Corner.